Hello, my name is Jonathan, and this is going to be a tutorial on how to switch between activities and Android development. My source code is available in the Dropbox link below if you want to follow along. I'll be using the NetBeans IDE uh, for this tutorial, although the process should be similar in Eclipse. So our main activity, we're going to begin by editing the XML file. We're going to add in a button. First, and we're going to implement the button method within the code itself. So let's create the button. click listener to it so that I can actually register uh, clicks. Alright. And we're also going to import the methods I forgot to add. So right now, uh, so a hotkey to do this is by pressing Alt, Enter. You can automatically just select whatever you want. All right. Next, we're going to create our second um, activity. So let's call this sub activity. And pretty much everything should be the same. So we're just going to change a couple of names around. And we're going to have to create, well, actually, let me just first import all the methods that are missing and change something. So we're going to names. OK. All right, we're, since this is a second activity, we're going to have to implement the second XML format, uh, XML file for it. So let's create a new XML format uh, file. Let's call this main2. OK, so let's take the contents of the first XML file and overwrite all of the second. I'm just going to change a couple of names, like these two. But otherwise, everything else should be roughly the same. Yes. OK. Next, we're going to have to edit the manifest file in order to tell the JIT that we are going to have multiple activities. So right now, as you can see, we have our main activity, which is the first activity that we created. Now we're going to have to add in our second activity. So let's do that right now. It's important to follow the notation that I have. Uh, so you're going to just give it the name and its label. So you're going to have to give it a dot sub class. Uh, sub, well actually, we gave it a different name. I think it was sub activity. And yeah. So this, uh, let's just add another dot there. All right, so this should allow us to have two main classes now. Yeah. All right, so this should allow us to have two main classes. Next, we're going to have to add in something called an intent. This allows us to switch in between the two uh, activities. So we're going to call this intent my intent. It's a little new intent. And we're going to say view.getContext to provide our original view right now, which is the main activity, as well as where it should go, which is going to be called sub activity. Semicolon, my intent. Oh, sorry. Start activity for result. My intent, comma zoom, and switch dot class. And just yes, and let's import. All right, there we go. So now what's going to happen when we click on the button that we just created is it's going to go into our next activity, which in this case is going to be sub activity, which we specified right here. Now
Now we're going to implement a similar method in our sub activity so that we can go back. So instead, we're going to say, all right, intent get uh, view dot get context, which gives us our current activity, and now we're going to tell it to include the second activity as well, or go back to the previous activity, which should be labeled as main activity. Activity. Sorry, I can't spell right now. And yeah, everything else should be pretty much the same. Okay, and let's try compiling it. Might get some errors. Yeah, get some errors. But yeah, dot main. Oh shoot! Let's get this, this guy here. R dot R dot main. All right, there we go. And we're going to run it in our emulator. So we're going to run it now. Sometimes the emulator doesn't really start, <laughs> so you just have to run it again. Sometimes, which is how this is going to And there we go. All right, so here we go. Uh, we have our main activity, which is just the main activity specified here. Now we're going to click on Next. Ah, oh, shoot. It's crashing. My bad. Uh, let's see what we did wrong. And there we go. Uh, so it turns out my only error was just the main two there. I was trying to call the original method, which just wouldn't work because it would have looked for button zero one or zero two in our main. Uh, apologies for a mistake. Uh, first video, you know. All right. And that concludes the first part of this tutorial. So let's just go back. All right, to there. That concludes the first part of this tutorial. In the second part, I'll be showing you guys how to implement this um, using hard-coded in values rather than just using the XML. Uh, in my opinion, that offers more flexibility, So, but it's really up to you. I, both, both methods have their strengths and weaknesses.